Okay, so there it is. That's how I make a basket out of a walnut. Now, I bet when you saw the title, you thought it said, how to make a basket out of walnut, not a walnut. <laughs> so, uh, I wasn't trying, it wasn't a bait and switch kind of thing. I just, uh, there was just really no other way to phrase it. Now, there, there, I know that whenever I use power tools, or anybody uses power tools, a lot of people on YouTube are famous for saying how unsafe they are. And, and you know, that is true. And I know, I know a lot of people are just watching out for us, and I get that. But scroll work is such close work that, that it, it just, it, by its nature, is dangerous. And so let me go back over to the scroll saw and, and show you at least one specific thing uh, that you can do to keep your fingers safe when you're doing cl close scroll work. Now remember, I am not a professional, and, and I'm not, don't, don't take this as like professional advice. This is just one thing that I was taught when you're doing scroll work, how to uh, keep your fingers safe. So anyways, let's go back over to the scroll saw, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now the first thing that you want to be careful of when you're pushing the, uh, the material into the blade, you don't want to be having your hands up like this and then pushing toward the blade. You want your hands positioned down here so that your wrists stay in the same or your palms stay in the same position or the same area. In other words, what I'm doing is I'm pushing, I've got my palms down here at the bottom of the table so that if I'm, when I'm pushing this through, if this was to slip or let loose or break, I won't be going into the blade. In other words, if I have my hands up and I'm pushing and it breaks or lets loose, I'm gonna go into the blade and my fingers or part of my hand might go into the blade. If I have my hands positioned down here and I'm only using my fingers like this, if it breaks free, then what's going to happen is my fingers are just going to go like this. See, and I'm not even close to that blade. So whatever slips, if I make sure that my palms are down here, I can't go any farther into the blade. See, I'm pushing and it's not going toward the blade. So th that's one way to keep your fingers safe. Now because these are rounded, it, you don't have a flat surface. And so what you have to do is be careful when you're trying to break through the skin of these. Now also, I usually do the top first because when you do the fat part here like this and it, you go through and you try to go here, you're going through a thin spot and then the bottom part here, the fat part that you've already done, it starts to kind of move and, and, and jiggle and shake and what it will do is it can crack this handle part. So I always do this part first and then I do the side, the side part. Now uh, that's just from experience but I mean you may, you may have a different opinion on that once you, once you once you play around with these okay and a final note that uh, you could take a lot of time you I've, I can run these off in about two minutes uh, that's how quick I've, I've gotten this down now you could take a lot more time and, and put a lot more detail into it uh, you could sand it a little bit more use the Dremel tool a little bit more and get it nice and smooth and you can make them almost perfect if you want to um, and that you know that's probably what I should be doing but I just wanted to show you quickly how, to, how I do them and then you can take all the time you want you could sand them a little bit more you could uh, shellac them uh, clear coat them whatever you want to do and make them look really nice but I just kinda I just like to run these off and set them around the house like at Christmas time and stuff and then I just kinda give them away to people uh, you're not really wasting anything most of the time people use a nutcracker on these and then they just throw the shell away so this is basically recycling and, and doing something a little bit unique with these and uh, where I got this idea was um, growing up I believe it was my dad, and I saw these sitting around the house. So I don't know, my dad died when I was young, so I believe that when I saw these around the house, I'm assuming since he was a woodworker, that he was making these and just sitting them around the house. But uh, So anyways, there they are, baskets made out of a walnut. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.